Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you in the Let's Play episode of Echo. So as you guys probably realize, as you guys probably noticed, there was no new episode of Fueled by Insanity. That is because it only took me like three minutes to complete the end of Fueled by Insanity, and it was nothing special. It was just some talking. So it was just some talking, and that was like basically it. So I think I'm gonna wait on that. Because I don't want to release, like, just a three-minute video. I, what I would rather do is I would rather just kind of go... Um, I'd rather just kind of continue from that point on into the next build. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to wait for the next build. Until then, I think I'm going to find another game to uh, fill that fourth game void. I was kind of thinking about a Changeling's Tale. That's something I've been interested in for a while. So, guys, if you, if you have any suggestions, please... Give me some game suggestions in the comments. All right, so let's uh, let's start this new video, shall we? Let's be getting a lot of bad weather today, so I'm gonna try and knock my videos out of the way early. All right, eight and I. Sure enough, our old school is visible out the window. Want to swing around just to look at it? Yeah, I'm tired, but we're not doing anything else. All right, why not? It's past five at this point, and as we pull up into the parking lot, there are only five, a few cars scattered around. We walk around the side of the school, then onto the football field. If Peyton High School put its money anywhere, it was definitely sports. That was one of the few. That was one of the reasons I was so. Uh, that was one of the reasons I was so mediocre by comparison. Just my mic a little bit. Every sport in the school is extremely competitive. Each one winning state regularly. They win state again and again. They, they win state again since I've been gone. Nope. Came close last year, though. Almost as close as we did back in 09. Ah, yeah. He still sore about that? Leo sits down on the top bench of the concrete bleachers, and I sit down next to him. <clears throat> Sometimes. <clears throat> Mostly because we were so damn close, and it really just feels like it was yesterday. It, it does kind of feel that way. I can remember it pretty clearly. It was one of the few times I'd seen Leo really cry. He'd wanted that championship so bad. I lean back and look around, breathing in deeply. Wow. It's really nostalgic being here. Isn't it? Leo looks off towards the sunset and I can see him getting glassy-eyed. Is it weird that, if I could, I'd go through high school again? I think for a moment. Oh! Still waking up? Not really. I'd like to do it. I made a lot of mistakes. Well, not really because of that. More like it was a lot of fun. I just want to experience it all again. I grin at him. Hey, you're talking like you peaked in high school. Did I? The question catches me completely off guard, and my stumbling around for words that follows doesn't help. N -n no! He sighs. Leo, you've got a good paying job, your own house, a pretty damn good life. You're doing better than most. He laughs a little. I guess I just don't feel it, you know? Why not? He leans back. Well, I don't really feel as good as I did back then, when I think of high school or even further back. Man, those were the good days. Think about how completely inverse I am to that, how my life improved exponentially after I left the town. Well, you know, if you keep looking back, I don't think you'll ever be happy. Oh. He looks so sad, I wrap an arm around his shoulders, which is a little difficult considering how broad they are. Because five, five years from now, you'll probably look back on this era of your life and think, man, I wish I could go back. Hits me right in the fields. Damn, this place is really run down. Heh, <laughs> you're probably right. So let's just enjoy now. Leo sighs again, looks straight down at me, meeting my eyes. Chase? Yeah? He pauses, looking off to the side before turning his eyes back to mine. Oh. I love you. I immediately look away. Chase, please. Please just come back. I miss you so much. Every day. I strode across the field, not able to meet his eyes again. 
I'll stop smoking. I'll stop picking on Clint. I'll get rid of the gun. Just please come back. It's just, I don't know, Leo. You know how I don't like it there, and I feel like I should keep my options open. Find a good job, a good place to live. Just for a year or two, while you're getting on your feet, I'll give you a place to stay. That sounds great, Leo, but to get back together, that's like setting ourselves up for another breakup, and I don't want to do that. But then we'd know for sure, without parents or a school in the way. It'll just be us, and then, even if it doesn't work out, there's some closure there. For the first time, I feel myself seeing things from Leo's point of view. I'm not necessarily losing anything by at least trying. And he's right. There really wasn't any closure. Mostly because of me. He almost sense my indecision because he immediately presses forward. And I'll be making enough to support you while you figure things out. Hey, I don't want to mooch. I don't mind. I just want you to be comfortable so you can do what you want to do. But, Echo... It was quiet for a while, a long while before it finally speaks up. Now that I, now that I can't fix. But I guess one way to decide is to weigh what's more important to you. You're asking me to choose. I, I'm not asking that exactly. Leo glances at me. But if I did, I blow out a long sigh. <sighs> So you are. He doesn't say anything, so my mind starts wandering over the years we'd spent together. Despite how much we fight, there's no question in my mind what the answer is, and it hits me like a thunderbolt. Well, I choose you. All at once, his face explodes into a grin. So much happiness in one expression, that I don't think I'd ever be able to, look, to take back what I just said, if I, even if I wanted to. And instantly, I'm wrapped up in a tight, warm hug, one that crushes the air from my lungs. Oh my god, Chase, I love you so fucking much! Hey! We've still got a year of school left, so we're gonna have to get back into contact, and we're gonna have to exchange... I clasp his muzzle show with my hand around it, and he just stares back at me with wide eyes. They didn't even say yes. I take my hand away from his muzzle. Oh, well, hmm. What do you say? I look again towards the sunset, past the concrete, bleachers and goal posts in the direction of Echo, and take a deep breath. I look back at Leo. Yes. And then he's kissing me. It's not rough like it was at the train yard. His mouth stays closed, but he holds my head gently, and it's like he's trying to pour all of his love into me through just his lips. As ridiculous as it might sound, I can feel it. Leo's heavy, soft body presses presses me into the bed, licking and kissing up my neck. Oh god, something weird is gonna happen. Like, every time someone tries to have sex in this fucking game, like, a weird otter person appears or some shit like that. His hands slide up and down my body, feeling out everything, and he's gasping like he can't catch his breath. I lay there, my eyes shut as I feel his pressing up against mine, writhing, writhing every time Leo reaches down to grasp them together. Okay, so we're do actually doing- okay, we are doing a sex scene. Okay. All right, so uh, I will try my best to not to say any of the really raunchy stuff because that probably gets me demonetized in the future. So here we go. Let's jump into this. Looks like he's about to jump into chase. Okay. I slide my hands down his back until they reach his rear, and I squeeze hard under his tail, forcing another gasp out of the big wolf. Slowly, he starts to look down the length of my body, starting with my chest, then down to my stomach. He pauses to snuffle and tease against my navel before his mouth finally closes around me. My eyes roll back as I clutch into the sheets, arching my back. Ah, okay, we skipped it. Okay. I listen as Leo showers down the hall, and I smile as I hear him singing. I usually shower with him back in the day, but I'm so tired I passed out as soon as we both finished. Once I opened my eyes again, Leo was already in the shower. I'm about to drift off again when I hear Leo's phone buzz. He'd been on it all day, probably trying to coordinate a meeting with the others. It's already Friday, which is hard to believe. We had to get together again before we lost the chance. Mm. I look over. The screen is already lit up, so I sit up and look. 
A message from Flynn. Yeah, well, fuck you too. Not exactly a surprising message to get from Flynn, but I still wonder what they're fighting about. From the sounds of it, Leo is still in the middle of his shower, still rocking out his diva pop song. Uh... Okay, fam. <laughs> Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, man. Uh, in my relationship, this is, uh, we, we actually were both open about things. And we would, like, always look, we, we would, like, look at each other's stuff, like, constantly. And, like, just remark, you know. It, it didn't bother either of us, either, so... I can always go back. With some amount of guilt, I reach over and grab his phone and open up his text. Immediately, I see a few pin conversations. They're from me. Judging by the dates, they're from when I was still away at college. There's also a few saved attachments, and I quickly swipe away to the other, more recent conversations. The latest is from earlier this morning, and it looks like it was to Flynn. Jace has a project to do. Bullshit, you're fucking with him again, huh? I'm helping him. You planned this from the start, didn't you? Wow, this is loud. Damn, that's loud. <laughs> Holy hell. What? This whole thing, it was to get back in his pants. How about I plan this after you ruin the entire week, huh? Yeah, well, fuck you too. I frown. It's too bad Leo and Flynn are still fighting, but for some reason their exchange has me feeling uneasy. I pull up his next recent text thread, one with Carl. Carl asked Leo when we're hanging out again yesterday night. Leo pokes some fun at him about sleeping in the crawl space. Then Leo tells him that he isn't sure, that I'll probably be too busy with my project to hang out. Leo never asked me. I feel my heart start to pound. Today, Carl texted again asking how things were going. Leo tells him that if I wanted to go to the high school for nostalgia's sake, that I wanted to be alone for it. He sent that two hours before we even got there, before he acted as if it was on a whim. Then Jenna asks if Leo is avoiding her, if she said something wrong. Leo tells her everything's fine, but again, I'm too busy to hang out. And then his text to TJ. Hey, yesterday was so much fun. I know you said you're probably going to be busy, but I wanted to check. Jace is still pretty sad about what happened Monday. I think he needs some more time. Oh dear, we're gonna save it right here. Oh dear. Leo's being manipulative. Yep, absolutely. He's doing things he shouldn't be, and it's gonna cause issues, so... Ugh, messy, 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 messy. Yeah, I know, there's... I'm glad I chose to check it. I, know that, I knew there was something about him I did not trust. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been another episode of Echo. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!